Okay guys, this is my second part of my tutorial on how to create custom Oblivion dialogue. Okay, so um, I left off, I think we saved and we opened. Okay, right. Now we have um, this topics um, bar open. Now what we want to do uh, is minimize everything. And um, if you guys remember that, um, uh, if you remember that, um, that voice you created, uh, if you remember, when you created that with um, the sound recorder, you're going to now use that trial version of Sony SoundForge to open it and save it in two different formats. You need to save it in MP3 and WAV. So, in order to do that, we hit open here, go to um, choose uh, whatever you named your sound file, and open it. Now we have it here. What you're then going to do is highlight, drag and highlight all of um, the sound. Then hit process, scroll down to volume. And if your mic's not very good, which mine wasn't, and it really didn't capture it very loudly, you want to boost the volume up to about 300 some, 325 percent. That'll work. Then hit OK. Now it's a bit louder. Good. Now hit File, Save, um, save As. Now, down here at, um, at like in um, Save, um, Save or Custom. Ah, sorry, Custom. You're gonna want to hit Custom. Oh wait. Um, yeah, you're gonna want to hit Custom. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> tired guys. Custom and choose Mono. It's already chosen because I've done this before, but it, uh, it probably won't be. So hit mono, scroll on this list and find 64 kilobytes per second by 44 comma 100 hertz, like that. Make sure your screen looks like this when you're saving it as an MP3, not as a wave, but as an MP3. So make sure this is save as type is set to MP3 audio. There's this giant list. Make sure to set uh, MP3 audio and and remember to put it to these specifications. Hit OK and save it. Uh, put a giant M on the end of the name so you know it's an MP3. So it's voice for character M. Save it. Then save it again as a wave. Scroll down, you'll find wave down here, wave. Now choose custom, hit custom. Make sure once again it's mono with 16 bit depth, 44 sample rate. And the format is PCM, uncompressed as it says, um, and then hit OK. Now, hit Save. There we go. Close out of Sony SoundForge. OK, now we have the two voice files right here. Right here. You'll see these other things that come with them called, um, they're like, they're mirrors of them, and they have .sfk at the end. You don't really need to worry about those. Actually get the actual sound files that you created. Now, as said um, in your TES construction set, when you open it back up, because remember you minimize everything. Double click under response details, um, whatever you just created um, as the words. Double click it and open it. Now you'll see in a path here, it says Breton, uh, Breton data sound, blah, 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 right? That stuff we've created already earlier. You're going to open up that M folder you created that stands for mail. Um, actually, bring all this back down. And drag those two sounds you just saved as an MP3 and a WAV into your M folder. Good. Now what we do is, say, uh, is reopen this. Or you can reopen it down here. Both do the same thing. Right here where it says voice file name, you want to highlight this in this box of voice file name. Highlight, right click, hit copy, and then hit OK. Open back up your M folder. Right click these you saved. One's, remember, one is in WAVE, one is in MP3. I forgot to name this one uh, voice for character W, but you get the point. Basically, two different um, file types, same name. Rename it as what you just copied. So it's one my quest, greeting, blah, blah, blah. 
Remember, it's the voice file name. Right click and do the exact same for this. It won't ask you to overwrite. You can have them as the same. Good, you are really close to being done now. Okay, now what you do, double click on response details. And if you click this, double click um, here. Hello friend, how are your adventures in Cerebro? You'll hear the voice you just created. You're really close. Now you can choose for added fun, emotion type and emotion value. Motion type basically makes what their face will look like. So I'm gonna make my guys have ha be happy. Emotion value can go up to 100. You can hit type in 100 to make it very happy. Um, like you just won the lottery or something, right? Then down here, um, click from wave when this is highlighted. Remember to make sure that this is highlighted, Breton. So just click it and it's highlighted, then hit from wave, then click generate lip file. Now. Remember that you need to download the TES construction set 1.0, not the newest one, because the newest one will not generate lip files. Down here, you'll see that it says one my quest greeting blah blah blah. You have it. Uh, you have a new lip file. This is great. You are pretty much done except for one last thing. Now you hit OK, OK, and save. It all it should automatically save. Now, um, minimize this. Remember, you have your lip file and your MP3 and WAV file. Like I said, download the 1.0 of the editor, not the newest uh, um, version of the TES construction set. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that at the beginning of my videos. It's all right. Um, I'll make sure to put it in the comment up top right. <laughs> okay, so um, then uh, minimize this. What you're going to need to do now is... Um, let me see, what was it? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Take your TES construction set and what you need to do is create something um, called a, uh, you wanna go to character, faction, and create your own faction. Um, it's like seven in the morning, I'm kinda tired. That's why I keep thinking long periods of time. So now you have faction window open. Right click this list and hit new faction, new or new. Create your faction like you've created your quest in your NPC, call it um, custom faction or whatever you want to call it, but just call it custom faction. Remember to put a one at top, one so it's at the top. Like I said, makes it easy. Um, give a name for it, call it, I'm going to call it um, awesome. And then click hidden from N uh, PC, hidden from PC. Then click OK. Now, what we do is go to character, then go to quest. Now, in this list, click G, and you'll immediately be taken to generic. Now, make sure there's a bunch of generics, but they are all different races. Generic Argonian, generic Breton, generic this. Make sure it's just generic with nothing else following. Hit generic, then go to, um, oh yeah, quest data. In this um, blank box here, or well, not blank, it should have something in it. Right click this box, click new. Then once again, when you're like when you were doing your own quest, click this list and go to get in faction. So get in faction. Then once again, click invalid. And then it's already highlighted for me, but um, click the list and use your faction, whatever you named it. I named it one custom faction. Click OK. Then click, uh, make sure this is two equal signs. Then change this value to zero. Make sure it's zero. Then hit new. And you're done. You're all done. So now that you've created this, um, what you do is hit OK and save. I'm going to continue this and the next video is going to be really short.